Hey there, good looking. Join me for this cardio Tabata workout. Low and high impact options will be shown, so this is perfect for wherever you are in your fitness journey. Now, no equipment is necessary for this workout, but I do recommend having a chair or a bench. Now, I recommend that for both beginners as well as intermediate and advanced, and I'll show you why during the workout. And heads up, this is day 13 of our Ignite Challenge. I am so proud of you guys. All right, let's go get warmed up. Hi there, welcome to the workout. My name is PJ Wren and hey, let's get ourselves warmed up and as we do, I'll talk about what we're about to do with this workout. All right, let's take our feet wide for me. Toes are gonna turn out, shift your hips back and then just take it to a side lunge. Take it down nice and easy to begin with. We'll go a little deeper as we go. Whoop, <laughs> there goes my balance. Anyways, so we wanna always prepare the muscles, connective tissue, joints for the workout and that's for this warm up comes in handy before any workout, and a warm-up is always movement-based, not holding a stretch. Now let's see if we can go a bit deeper, pushing those hips rearward. You've got the everything squared to me, all right? Hips, shoulders, and your lovely face. So we have three circuits today, four exercises per circuit, to bat a timer is on for 20 seconds, only a 10 second transition. So it's gonna move fast, but we have four rounds. So don't worry, if you miss the first few reps as we're learning, you'll get it. All right, let's bring ourselves back up. Okay, take this leg out, inhale, scoop down, get into those hamstrings dynamically, inhale, push the hips back, scoop down, exhale. Good job, one more each side. Last one. Take it feet hip width apart, into that reverse lunge pattern. Now you drop that back knee as far down as it feels comfortable. If you have sensitive knees, it might be a st fairly straight leg. Intermediate advanced people, I want you to get that knee all the way to the ground. Good. Now let's hold the arms in front, hands touching. Now as we come down, I want you to twist that arm towards that back leg, drive up. So we're rotating the body towards the leg behind us. Nicely done. Two more. Last one. Really tighten the core, big arm circles for me. So we will be doing some push-ups. As I mentioned, a chair or a bench is gonna be great, whether you are a beginner or advanced. For advanced, we're going to be standing and doing an elevated push-up. For beginners, you'll be on your knees doing a push-up off the chair. However, the chair is optional. You can do the push-up on the ground too. Last three, two, and one. Hands light behind the ears, squat it out. Maybe situate those feet a little wider. There's some jumping in this workout. You'll get the no jump version up in the corner there with mini me. And then there also are a couple of exercises for the core that aren't necessarily great for everyone, especially for osteoporosis, osteopenia, and mini me will be doing an exercise alternative there for you. Remember gang, always work with what feels good for you, okay? Each day is different, so respect what your body's telling you. I'm here to guide the way, maybe push you a little past your comfort zone, and then it's your job to listen to your body from there. Let's do two more here. One more. Good job, march it out. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're starting out with a gate swing. I'm gonna grab a quick sip myself. Now, a gate swing is high impact. Low impact will be in the corner. I'll give you a quick demo of the low impact because it won't show until the timer starts. You're stepping out. Hand coming down. Now maybe hand is coming in between the legs. You're not quite there to hand to the ground. Work with what you can, remembering that we're bending the knees, not your back. All right, feet together. We're starting in three, two, one, go. Good, if you're doing the jumping, I want you to land soft. Twenty seconds of work, it's gonna go by quick, you guys. Hang in there. Keep the tempo. 
One more. All right, feet hip width apart. Okay, you're gonna step back with that left leg. Give me a pulse, jump it, and pulse. No jump version is in the corner there. So it looks the exact same, except you're stepping back to change legs, not jumping. Woo, it's the thigh burner. One more. Woo. All right, into a high plank. Beginners, you're gonna see Minnie Me in a high plank with your chair, so I want you to follow her. Everybody else, wrists under shoulders, feet shoulder width apart. Now, left hand, right foot, tap, tap. Minnie Me, she's on the chair, tapping her thigh, but it's tapping opposite, not same side. We're on our backs right in here. All right, gang, dead bug, if you know what it is, get set up, here you go. This is what it looks like. Anchor the low back, opposite arm and leg drops. This is a safe core exercise for wherever you are in your fitness journey. Really keep that low back anchored though. You're not lifting it up, belly's not popping up. If it is, I want you to keep the knee bent then. You're not gonna straighten the leg. We're taking it from the top, right here. Pop on up as best you can. I know we get to a certain age and our popping up is gone. All right, gate swing, high or low impact, round two, go. Remember, it's four rounds. So now you know it, you've seen it all. Now let's see if we can get the tempo up a bit, keeping that form. When we do this, we are bending those knees, knees tracking with the toes. Head up. Time. Whew. All right, lunge pulse. Start with feet hip width, and then we step back for the lunge hip width. Pulse for two. Go. One, two, jump or step to switch. Upright in the upper body. If you're doing the jump with me, you're landing soft. One more, woo, that burns. All right, we're in a high plank. Beginners, you're using that chair or bench. Everybody else down on the ground with me. Here we go, toe tap, go. Or maybe you're tapping your thigh, or maybe that's just not available either, and you're tapping your wrists. Even maybe if you're on the ground with me, the wrists might be a better option for you. Keep the feet apart though. It's gonna help you with your balance and base of support. Time. Dead bug. Whew. I know, we're moving fast on this. I got faith in you guys. Here we go, belly button drawn in, go. I wanted to give you a good variety of moves. So that does mean though, that we move quickly through those variety of moves. Remember, don't let that low back pop off. Come on, use those core muscles. We're standing after this. Woo! All right, gang. We're moving into round three now. We got that gate swing, high or low impact with good old mini me. Three, two, one, go. Should be nice and warm now. Maybe you can drop a bit deeper in this squat. One more. Woo. All right, lunge pulse, feet hip width. There's our setup, okay? Let's start with the left leg back, pulse it twice. Go, one, two, switch it. How you switch it is up to you. Step it or jump it. One more, Woo. All right, now we're in that high plank, tapping maybe wrists, maybe thighs, or toe. Feet apart, three, two, one, go. I wanted to also give you a good variety of upper body moves, lower and core. So here's our upper body and core move. Dead bug coming up in three, 
two, one, on your back. Legs are up in tabletop. That means 90 in hip, 90 in knee. Arms up and go. Anchor that low back. What happens if you can't anchor it? You keep that knee bent. You keep it bent, okay? Oh shoot, I forgot to cue you to turn on your fitness watch if you have one. Oh, you better turn it on and start over again. <laughs> Time. Come on up, last round. How many of you just dropped the F-bomb on me? <laughs> just joking. All right, gate swings, let's go. There's a lot to remember up here, a lot of pressure. <laughs> I should do a checklist, shouldn't I? <laughs> Tape the checklist underneath the camera. <laughs> Time, Lange Falls. For a lot of videos, I was even saying, forgetting to say my name, <laughs> assuming everybody knows who the heck I am. All right, Lunge Falls, feet hip width, left leg, let's go. Falls to twice. Woo. Time, Whew. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda happy that one's done. All right, we got the planks, either elevated or down with me. Then toe tap, maybe thigh tap, or maybe wrist tap. Let's go. Whew. Feet apart, wrists under shoulders, whether you are elevated or on the mat. Let's take it on our backs for that dead bug. We get a quick water break in about 20 seconds. Here we go, anchor that low back and go. It's an opposite arm and then the leg drops. We want the heel coming to the ground. You're leading with the thumb on that arm, tapping that ground behind the head. Breathe and don't lose that core recruitment. Really focus, take it a little slower if you have to. All right. You got a 30 second breather. Then we're moving into some jumping jacks. I'll be doing the high impact. Mini me, I'll be doing low impact. All right, low impact, pretty easy to figure out, okay? The second exercise will be an air squat for those of you that can't do what I'm doing. And this is an air squat. Feet shoulder width, knees track with toes, hands up. All right, jumping jack, you ready? High or low in three, two, one, let's go. Circuit two, go wide with the legs, don't get lazy, use those hip muscles. Time, all right. Those of you who can squat all the way to the ground, you're gonna follow me, otherwise follow mini me doing that air squat. I want you to take it all the way down, Good, all the way, like all the way. Okay, cool. Pull the shoulders back and down. Now lift up half and drop. Keep the chest lifted, not rounding that upper back. So this is gonna feel great for everyone's knees or hips. So follow mini me if that's you. We move into skaters in three, two, one, and up. Woo! All right, now I'm gonna do high impact. You can do low impact where you always have one foot on the ground. Just try to land on one leg so we work the balance. Follow me, go. Pushing off, landing soft. Trying to move laterally, again, getting those hips fired up, just like I asked for the jumping jacks. In 10 seconds, we're going into a plank. Time. All right, we've got some plank ups, which is suited, fitting into our drills for the Ignite Challengers for our perfecter of push-ups. Let's go on the knees, on the forearms. Now plank the left leg, arm up, down. Good, now the right arm comes up. Excellent, intermediate advanced people off of the knees. So, Ignite Challengers, we've been working on moves to perfect our push-up. Here it is in the workout here. Time, okay, awesome. All right, from the top, jumping jacks. So that's round one. 
Here we go, lower high impact, jack it up, go. So we've also been working in the last 12 days, all right, push-ups, whether they're in the workout or auxiliary work after the workout to perfect our push-ups. Today's workout, the push-ups as well as the auxiliary work, whew, time is in your workout, okay? Frog squat or air squat. Now frog, you start down all the way. You open the chest up and then drive up half, down, up, down, good. Woo. Feel those thighs? <laughs> we got skaters in three, two, one. Come on up, woo. Remember, you can take this skater to a low impact. Please keep those feet moving in our intermissions here. Ready, skate it, three, two, one, go. Landing soft knee. Landing soft as well. Going on our forearms in three, two, one, whoo. All right, plank up. So start on the knees if that's where you wanna be. Otherwise, join me on the toes. Take a look at the top of your mat. Step that hand right under the shoulder, press up. Now let's lead with the other arm. So try to have the hand right under the shoulder. It's gonna work those triceps harder. So with that said, having the hand in front of you is going to help decrease the intensity. So you can dial it back anytime. Whew. Time. This round seems to be going really fast, doesn't it? The circuit. <laughs> All right, high or low impact jumping jack. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This is my second time recording this workout. <laughs> I recorded it yesterday and my camera wasn't working properly. I had good times. <laughs> Time. Whew. Some days I don't like my job. Yesterday was one of them. <laughs> All right, frog squat pulse or air squat with mini me. Start down low and up. That's okay. Now I know what we're doing. I know how to tighten up my cues even more, right? Practice makes perfect. So I have a lot of practice on this workout now. <laughs> Whew. We got skaters in three, two, one, drive it up. Woo, baby. Remember, keep marching those feet. Okay, high or low impact skater, you choose. Ready, let's go. On our forearms in three, Two, one, plank ups. Whew. And I just had a cup of coffee, so you get caffeinated PJ today. You wouldn't have had caffeinated PJ if yesterday's workout turned out. So, you know, there's a plus. <laughs> Actually, I'm not caffeinated anymore. I only drink one cup of caffeinated coffee first thing in the morning, and then my second cup, which I just finished, is decaf. So but it still carries the same effect. Time. <laughs> the placebo effect. Yeah, I'm trying to cut back my caffeine because I don't sleep well. Ready, jumping jacks, go. And I didn't know this, but even 12 hours after a cup of coffee, that caffeine still has a half-life in your system. So if you're like me, struggle with falling asleep, <laughs> cut back on that coffee or caffeine period. One thing though my doctor did teach me, if you are going to go decaf, make sure your decaf says Swiss water process. Here you go, sink it down, frog squat. That means then that the caffeine was taken out of the coffee bean using water process, not chemicals. So Swiss water decaf or Swiss water processed is what you're looking for. And they don't all have it. So you know then that the ones that aren't labeled that way, Whew. they use chemicals. We got enough chemicals in our life, let's try to limit. 
All right, we got skaters, high or low impact. Three, two, one, let's go, crew. Our final plank up in three, two, one, down. Whew. Oh, I feel my hips, that's awesome. I hope you do too. You're welcome. Okay, plank up. Just alternate your lead leg, lead arm. Knees or toes, go. Try to step that hand right under the shoulder. So if you're unable to, and you're on your toes, I'd rather you go on your knees and perfect that. Wrist right under the shoulder. Then when you can do that, then come up on the onto the toes, okay? Woo! All right, grab a sip. We're moving into our final circuit crew. This is where we're using the push-ups, so I'm gonna grab my chair. <laughs> All right. Mini me will be doing it off the knees up there. Intermediate advanced people, you can do it from the ground from your knees, from the ground from your toes, or join me here. Ready? Last circuit, go. So elevated ground push-up makes it a little easier than doing a straight leg push-up off the ground. Remember our push-up, when we come down, the head and the elbows kind of form the shape of an arrow, and your body's moving up and back in a solid unit. Keep that core tight. One more. Good. All right, V-sit if you can't crunch. If you can crunch, open the legs. All right, crunch up, tap the inside of the knees, come down, intermediate advance people, all the way up, tap the toes. Exhale as you lift. So you shouldn't be crunching if you have osteoporosis or osteopenia. Follow Mini-Me, she's doing a V-sit, neutral spine, leaning back. You can have the heels on the ground or lift them off to make them harder. Everybody join me here. Bear hover, spread the fingers, wrists under shoulders, knees apart under hips. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees and hover here. Good. Now tap, if you'd like to progress, tap each opposite wrist. If you want to progress further, tap the shoulder now. Opposite hand to shoulder, keeping those knees a couple inches off your ground. Standing in three, two, one, and up. Whew. All right, we got to squat and reach. This is low impact. Have your hands here, feet shoulder width apart, knees track with toes, and then reach the arms up. I want you to come down and feel those elbows touch the top of your thighs. Whew. Good, now, how you pick up the intensity on this is go faster, so find a speed that challenges you. Last move, taking it back to the push-ups for round two and three, Two, one, whoo, all right. So remember, you got options with these push-ups. You don't need the chair, all right? But beginners, I do recommend that one there. Here we go. Three, two, one, down. Exhale as you push back. Feet apart, keep those hips squared. Core is tight, gaze is ahead of you. Don't let that head drop. Last two. One more. All right. You got V-sit if you're not crunching. Otherwise, a butterfly crunch. So open up the knees, heels close towards the groin, arms up. Tap the inside of the knees or the toes. Exhale as we lift. V-sit people, hold that neutral spine. Lean back, feel those abs grab. Heels on the ground or heels up to make it harder. One more. All right, bear hover. Now you stay with the hover if that's where you're at or layer on the way we did that first round, either wrist tap or shoulder tap. Wrists under shoulders, knees apart under hips, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Find what's gonna work for you. Static bear hover or tapping. Gaze at the top of your mat. Time, Whew. all right, squat and reach. So we want those feet shoulder width and then the toes are gonna track out a little bit so that knees and toes track. Hands here, drop it, reach it, good. Chest is up, 
pushing the booty rearward, almost pretending like we're going to sit in a chair. Somebody's put that chair, we're reaching the bum back, trying to find that chair. Whew. Moving into push-ups in three, two, one, and here we go. Whew. Round three, we are almost there. This is our final circuit. Unless I screwed up this filming, then I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to do this again, I don't think I'll have coffee before the workout. It'll be something a little stronger. <laughs> I enjoy this workout. It's just, it's getting a bit much now. <laughs> Time. <laughs> All right. Butterfly crunches. <laughs> you have no idea how many times I've screwed up videos and had to redo workouts. Oh, geez. One more. Whew. All right, bear hover. Okay, so wrists plugged right under those shoulders, knees plugged right under those hips. Tuck the toes, lift it, hold here, or tap either wrists, or bring it into advanced shoulders. Try not to lift the knees too high while you're doing this. We're standing in three, two, one time. All right, so that's a core move, shoulder move, and thigh move. Here we go, squat and reach. Let's start the hands here. Squat, elbows touch the thighs, reach it. So we're doing that shoulder press as we reach up. All right, last round, you guys. You got your push-ups. You know what option, stick with it. Here we go, be strong with your form. One more. All right, butterfly crunch, or perhaps you're following mini me for that V-sit. If you're doing the V-sit, maybe try your feet off the ground if you haven't yet for the last round. Exhale if you're with me as you curl up. One more. All right, bear hover. So remember, fingers wide, spread. Wrists under shoulders, knees apart under hips. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Now, do what you want to do. If you were doing just a hover, maybe try the wrist tap for the last time. If you're doing the wrist tap, maybe try the shoulder tap. If you're doing the shoulder tap, pick it up. Wrists right under the shoulders. Come on. Last three, and two, and one. Come on up. Good job, you. All right, squat and reach, and then we get a water. Hands here, squat low, let's go. Time! Woo! All right, you, our heart rates are going, so I want you to march it on the spot. Maybe grab water while you're marching. Cheers. All right, keep marching there. We are gonna do a couple of standing stretches. All right. But let's first just get your breathing down a little bit, your heart rate down a little bit. And then we're gonna use the chair. I'm gonna use the chair for the stretching. If you don't have a chair, you can definitely use a wall or a couch, okay? Maybe shake out those wrists. We did do a lot of weight bearing on the wrist. 
And I know that can be a sensitive area for some women, but one way to strengthen them is to continuously <laughs> do it, right? But I made sure that we gave ample rest. So we didn't do like a push up and then into the bear hover. We did a move in between to give the wrists a break. So there's always that thought process when I'm scheduling a workout because I've been doing this now for close to 30 years. I know what can be the pain points for a lot of women. So I try to get you strong so we don't have those pain points, but not continuously break down that area so that you can't complete it. Okay, I want you to grab onto the back of your chair. All right, grab onto your heel or maybe your pant leg, or if you have a yoga strap or a tie, wrap it around the foot. From this position, bring the knee back so it's right underneath the hip, squeeze the bum towards me and feel that stretch in the quad. Ignite Challengers, I'm really, really, really proud of you. You guys have done 13 days of tough workouts, including a lot of push-ups and planks to get your core and your push-up muscles strong. Just a couple more days left, and then I hope if you haven't already joined us, either on Patreon or Over 50 Fitness, I can keep supporting your journey, your fitness journey on either of those platforms. All right, now let's take the other leg. All right, let's get into the lower leg now. Okay, this is where you could use a wall if you don't have a back of a chair. Feet are hip width, step back with the left and push the hips forward, feeling that length in that lower leg. We want the heel on the ground, and we also want that foot in a straight line. So take a peek. I find a lot of people kind of toe out, so let's get that foot in a straight line. This is a great stretch, too, if you are a runner, a hiker, a walker. Also one that you need to do if you are ever or have been plagued with plantar fasciitis. Let's do the other side. Keep those feet hip width. Step back right. Right foot in a straight line. Heel to the ground. Push the hips forward. And release. All right, let's use the chair itself or maybe your bench or your couch. Left leg on top. Scoot the hips rearward as we hinge forward, hands on resting on the top of your thigh to get into the hamstring. So one thing I see done incorrectly for this stretch is rounding of the back, trying to get to the toe. Getting to the toe isn't the end game. The end game is lengthening from the back of the knee to the tailbone. So you want to push the hips rear, hip hinge, and find the length in the hamstring there. All right, other side. So same thing. And again, respect that each side could feel different. So don't go too crazy on this side if the other side was quite flexible. Start by pushing the hips back as you hinge forward. Don't forget before you leave, please click that thumbs up button. That really does help the videos get found by the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. And please leave a comment below too. I love reading the comments from you guys. Release. And as mentioned, if you want to come and join us over on Patreon so that we can continue putting workouts here on the YouTube channel, there's some information down below. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you next workout. Bye.